If you don't show up, you won't play. That's right, kitties. You know what I'm saying? This applies to a lot of things. If you don't even get out of bed, if you don't even show up to the park, if you don't put in the time, the submissions, the resumes. So the thing is, you gotta show up and play. You've gotta get up and play, otherwise you're not gonna have a chance at success. All right, so what I'll talk about today is starting to sell something. And you're gonna say, well, it takes a lot to start a business. I mean, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna start? I don't have any money. Where am I gonna get the money to start a business? Well, okay, so it takes some money. It takes some money. Reaching out to Mary Kay, going out to uh, Amway and saying, let me have some of your products. Look, the thing is, is that if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your dedication and your consistency and that you're gonna succeed, people will put their trust in you. They will believe it if you believe it, but you have to believe it first. Okay, starting to sell something. Here you go, kids. Here's a good little piece of advice. All right, show up and play. One of the first businesses that I started, and it was a very small, temporary business, but I took action was I bought a vending machine and I put it in a store. I actually bought two vending machines and I would go to Smart and Final and I would buy a bunch of gum and candies and cookies and chips and stuff. I would stack up this little vending machine with all my goodies and, you know, of course it would sell because um, we're a grubby little bunch, right? And I wish I would have had this idea when I was in elementary school. This is a very good business as an elementary school student. Buy mints, buy gum, buy chocolates, buy candies, and have them with you. Have a little box with you and then just offer it to people. Yes, at first they're gonna be like, that's weird. Uh, Timmy, why do you have candy and mints and stuff in your backpack all of the time? I'm starting a business. Yeah, but isn't that weird? No, not at all. Uh, you know, I'm starting a business. I'm selling candies and cookies and crackers and whatever. If you want some, you know, you're welcome to have some. I guess I'll take a Snickers. 46 cents, I think, is what I used to pay for Snickers bars. Uh, there was a time if there were specials, they would go down to 38 cents. And uh, I would buy a lot of them. I would spend $300, I would take it to my vending machine, I would stack it up, and then I would make some money. I would make some money in return. The thing is, is did I make a lot of money? No, not necessarily. Did I make enough to pay the machine? Yeah, I did. I made enough so that I learned how to, you know, what it is that I needed to buy, and then I would fill my machine, and uh, I would sell it. I would sell the product. The thing is, is that I took action. So, Jesus, Jesus, do I wish that in elementary school, I had taken the time to buy just mints. Because I know at school, you're not supposed to sell, uh, you're not supposed to chew a lot of gum, but you can have mints. Uh, you could buy hauls, you know, during cold season. You could buy, um, you could buy Eltoids, Altoids, or whatever those things are called. Uh, Werther's Original. You could buy, there's tons of mints. Who doesn't like nice, nice fresh breath? Who doesn't like that? You know? And, uh, so this is a great idea for somebody to start a business, learn how to sell something. Just sell something. Sell anything. Just sell something. Don't sell anything. There are some things that you shouldn't be selling, of course. But that is a great way. Show up with something in hand so that you can offer it. Offer it as a service. Hey, would you like some mints? I've got some mints. By the way, I got a joke. Who doesn't like a good joke, you know? A man is taking a woman home from their first date and he asks if he can come inside. Oh no, I never ask a guy in on the first date. Okay, well how about the last date? Of course, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, my friends, that's all I get for today. So thanks for listening, guys. Please subscribe. Peace out.